Fixed Wireless Access, or FWA, has been around before 5G, even though it didn't really take off. Recently, the technology has piqued the interest of both governments, who are keen on resolving the digital divide, and the mobile industry. Why all this attention around FWA? The emergence of 5G has brought new innovations such as wider bandwidths and massive MIMO technologies, and 5G FWA has now gained a competitive edge against fixed broadband. Samsung has paved the way for FWA, designating the technology as its very first 5G service in the millimeter wave spectrum. Previously, our solution was based solely on millimeter wave, and it could support around 5.5 gigabps throughput. We're now planning to support standalone, as well as both the millimeter wave and below 6 gigahertz bands at once to boost downlink speeds to more than 10 gigabps. As for coverage, by improving downlink resource allocation methods and introducing gap symbol adjustment between downlink and uplink traffic, our solution reaches up to 10 kilometers, and we will extend coverage by at least 1.5 times. That's our solution, but we also have partnerships with multiple customer premise equipment companies. Through these partnerships, we can provide both millimeter wave and below 6 gigahertz CPEs, depending on frequency, and either outdoor or indoor CPEs for the user's preferred installation. We will also support standalone millimeter wave and below 6 GHz CPEs for faster speeds and wide coverage. In Seoul, Korea, Samsung used 5G FWA as a Wi-Fi backhaul to enhance public Wi-Fi service in subways. We deployed compact macros along the subway tracks, connecting five subway stations, and installed 5G CPEs in the trains. The Wi-Fi average speed went up 25 times to reach 1.8 Gbps. Samsung will continue to test and confirm the feasibility of FWA in diverse industries and continue to expand commercialization.